Okay, now let's bring comes from this gentleman. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Monsi Serrano from the Philippine Business Industry. First off, congratulations, very impressive, mind boggling. Um, uh, this is our first time, but my, I have a question for Mr. Lin and for Mr. Edge. Uh, for Manila, you know, is famous for traffic, and I am dreaming somehow in my mind right now that how can you help uh, people like City uh, in Manila uh, to in, to embark this kind of very successful uh, project and. Uh, for um, Mr. Erich, uh, how did you d deal with the resistance? Because as inevitable, if you implement something new, there are resistance. Uh, maybe Mr. Lin can also answer that. Thank you so much. Okay. I went to the Philippines and the, uh, uh, one is the Manila, the other is the Butuan. And also in this time, there will be the 2024. As I know, they will come to have the 100 90 delegation from the Philippines mm. going to uh, Taipei, and then uh, I am going to be to receive them to uh, to to Kaohsiung. And uh, according to their request, I said they uh, what they need uh, because of lots of things that they need. But but I as I can see uh, whenever I visit the uh, Manila Philippines, it's getting the pro progress every every day. And I quote the uh, administrator of the Quezon Quezon City. He said they, uh, they need uh, more traffic control uh, because it's a heavy traffic. It's, it's not a way of the uh, technology can be implemented. It's the way uh, uh, you have to educate your people, but you have to get the help by the technologies. And so it's not a way of the CCTV, but it's the way of the how do you behave, the way you drive the car. But it still need the process of the, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, Technology implementations. So the other way is the uh, I also uh, heard about. I visit the uh, Ministry of the, uh, uh, the Interior. They say they want to have the uh, uh, the transparency of the democracy. I think the uh, Taiwan also can help this because we have the uh, 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 in terms of uh, voting, they will be uh, very uh, quick. Uh, so there will be uh, some. I, I said the uh, Mr. Chairman can say that the, uh, all the uh, voting in Taiwan they will be uh, will be come up very very quickly. So it, it's one of the technology. Not, 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 this is not the application for the city government, but will be the central government. They also can can we see that. And the third thing is that the Philippine uh, people they want to have the, uh, some um, especially for the uh, uh, I mean the sewage uh, treatments. I say the uh, Kaohsiung may be one of the best city in terms of the, uh, as you know, we have the uh, very good news that we, we uh, persuade the TSMC to make the, uh, uh, their uh, relocation from Xinjiang to Kaohsiung. And right now it's under construction. And you know what, what, what is the, 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 the secret weapon? It's that we promised, we provide the, uh, we provide them for uh, one, uh, I mean, yeah, we provide them reclaimed waters per day. There will be more than 100,000 tons per day for their recycled waters. And what would, do we do it? It's an infrastructure that we uh, locate the TSMC, the foundry plant. We have the uh, sewage plant. And we use the sewage plant to clean up the waters, and then we reclaim the water again. So we sell them the waters. That made, that made the, the, the job uh, properly and uh, appropriately because they, they cannot be, because of the uh, increase of the electricity. And they need the water also. And they reclaim themselves as the, uh, 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 I mean, they, they want to use the reclaim waters. They want to use the electricity. So uh, that would be the pursuers. And this kind of know-how, maybe we also can have the, uh, the as I know, they have uh, more than 190 uh, uh, dedication from the Kaohsiung. So I welcome that. And uh, if we can, we also can send a dedication to the uh, Philippines, to uh, even the officials or, or the industry. We also have the more uh, exchange. I, I hope we can have a, a long, long friendships in terms of uh, making a better uh, uh, city, I mean, and, and the regions that develop. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you asked a question about people and how they react. 
Is that correct? Look, I think you have to be honest with people. I, th I think that uh, government can't announce it's going to do something without explaining what it's going to do and why it's doing it. Um, one of the things I talk about, every time I talk about an environmental program that we're doing, we remind people that we are never going to get to our greenhouse goals unless you do something. I could, gov I could change every bus and car the government owns. I could green every building the government owns. I could still build unless you make the decisions in your houses and in your vehicles that you choose to take actions yourself. And we don't normally call on people to take actions. It's sort of like the government's going to solve this or do that. We have some grant programs, which are great. Um, we've got guidance you know, to help people make a transition to put in uh, uh, electric furnaces, heat pumps, and things like that. But ultimately, you've got to convince people that they're part of it. And so people are worried. And, and climate change scares a lot of people, particularly younger people. I don't know if you've talked to, how much you talk to younger people. When you talk to 20-year-olds, to say they're not having children because they don't want to raise people, children in this world. And to them, it's not funny. To them, it's sad because, you know, that's something a lot of people look forward to. And it's like, I don't want to do that. Um, we've got to convince people that there's a solution, which is why I think we keep pushing ahead and being very visible about what we're doing. But you've got to tell them they've got to be part of it. And I don't think we do that enough. I, don't, I think people think the government's going to miraculously save things. For the private sector, it'll be a cold day in hell before the private sector saves anything. Um, they wouldn't be doing anything they're doing right now if they weren't being forced to. We know that, and we know that in America for sure. Um, if it weren't for the pressure of political, they'd go on polluting the, the water and the air, and it would be a problem. So truth is a powerful weapon. We ought to use it more. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you very much.